Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 17. Hey, if you want to download these PDFs or our Excel file, which is Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 2, you can click on the link below the video. So Chapter 2, we're going to talk about fractions. Now, what is a fraction? 1 over 2. 1 divided by 2, or in normal language, we'd call this 1 half. So a fraction is really just division. Oftentimes, when the number is between 0 and 1, we express it like this. right? But how would we convert this to a decimal? We just do division. We just do division, right? So a fraction is really division. If the number in the top, the numerator, is smaller then the number in the bottom, the denominator, then it's a number between 1 and 0. Now, in this class, I'm going to always, almost always, ref always refer to the top as numerator, and the bottom as denominator. Now, sometimes you, see, you see this called a dividend, and this called a divisor. right? So if we do the actual division for our fraction, we get 0.5. This is called the answer or the quotient. Now, what is um, the best way to think of it is uh, pizza, right? <laughs> a fraction represents part of the whole or total. So here's the whole pizza, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pizzas. If you eat two pizza slices and there's six total, then you would have eaten two sixths of the pizza. Now, a couple videos ahead, we'll see how to find all of the what are called the prime factors, list them, and cancel to reduce our fraction. All right? so two six can, will be uh, expressed as one third, so you ate one third of the pizza. Now there's different ways, uh, different types of fraction. This is called a proper fraction. That means, hey, the top, the numerator, is smaller than the denominator. Improper, uh, improper means they haven't been following the right etiquette, right? So if you're proper, then you're following the right etiquette. No, no, no. Improper means uh, the number in the top, the numerator, is bigger than the denominator. A mixed number, we often see this 1 and 1 half, right? So the overtime rate is 1 and 1 half. Notice we used the word and. Last uh, chapter we talked about um, decimals or numbers smaller than 1. You always say and, 1 and 1 half. Now don't forget, when you see this, this is the same as this. And that will come handy later when we convert mixed numbers to uh, either improper fraction or decimals. All right? It's just, oh yeah, 1 plus an extra half. Like fractions, that means they like each other, right? No, no. That just, just means the denominators are the same. Like fractions are easy to add. When you have the denominators the same, you just add the top. So this would end up being four twos. Unlike fractions, they don't like each other at all. No, no, no. That just means the denominators are different. And when you get to adding and subtracting fractions, we're going to have to learn something called the least common denominator. Okay? So unlike fractions. Now let's go over to Excel. And um, we in Excel are mostly going to have to uh, deal with the fact that there's something that will help us called number formatting. Now, in this class so far, we've talked a lot about number formatting as facade. But we're going to see uh, the fraction number formatting, and it will come in quite handy. Uh, let's go ahead and do this division equals this divided by this. All right, so by default, uh, when you have, you, if you've not added any number formatting to the cell, it just shows you, you know, the oops. Oh, how do you like that? I'll just do a little trick right here. Whoops. All right, pretend that when I hit enter, it looked like that. Oh, 0.5, right? But what if you really want it to uh, show four eighths? That's where number formatting comes in. Now you can either for number formatting go up to home. There's the number group and uh, click on that dialog launcher. There's also a built-in up here, but that, just like percentage, but next chapter when we talk about percentage, these two can get you into big trouble because they use just the default, and there's lots of different types of fraction number formatting. So I'm not going to use these. I'm going to go to the either here for number tab, or I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control-1. Control-1 shows me format cells. 
And sure enough, broop, there's uh, uh, currency, accounting. Uh, we talked briefly about uh, date. But now we, in next chapter, we'll talk about percentage here. We're going to talk about fraction. And lo and behold, there's a bunch of built-in fractions. Now here's the key. As you click on these and watch uh, what happens, look at the sample. Notice right here, it's 1 half. And I don't want to show that. I want to show 4 eighths. Here's a built-in one. It says one digit. Here's uh, a built-in formatting that will show two digits. If I click on that, you see it doesn't really change it. It moves it over because it's expecting to have two digits. This one, three digits. Oh, this is as with a 2 in the denominator. This is with 4 in the denominator. This is with 8 in the denominator. So that's the one we want. This is a built-in fraction format. I'm going to click OK. All right, remember, uh, number formatting is a facade. It's just on top. Really underneath is that 0.5. If you do the division, though, 4 divided by 8 is 0.5. Now let's come down here. I can already see my labels weren't showing up there. Uh, now let's do this again. Equals, and I'm going to do 4 divided by 8, or 4 eighths, Control Enter. And I'm going to go up, and I'm going to assume that I'm just going to use the built-in one right here fraction, right? You see what it does is it tries to show it in a reduced format, which we will learn how to do later. But that default one almost a lot of times will get you trouble when you're doing fractions. So I like to go uh, Control-1, choose whatever you want. If in fact it, it, you do want to see 1 half, then you can leave it like that. All right, And we are going to leave it like that. But this is where you really get a lot of control. All right, click OK. All right, so pizzas, there's our, we ate four pizzas out of eight. Now let me scoot this out of the way. I have some uh, notes here. This was the fraction formatting as eights. So if I control one, you can see that's the name of it, as eights, four eights. And this was up to one digit. When I click here, there it is right there. That's the default. Um, all right, now those are built-in ones. We want to go to this next sheet over here called Fractions. And we definitely want to talk about building our own custom number formatting. Now this is the first time we'll see custom number formatting. But for fractions, it'll just make your life so much easier. Now, usually we open the Format Cells dialog box, you know, however you want. But I'm going to always use Control-1. That opens the Format Cells dialog box. That should be capitalized right there. Man, whoever made this, I don't know. And then we go to the Number tab. We select the fraction format and scroll through the options. If the built-in fraction number format does not work, we're going to use Custom. And we'll see how to do that in just a moment. We're going to do this a lot of times, so get used to it. Pound sign means when you have um, integers, it'll show an integer. And question mark is the code that says show a digit in a fraction number formatting. So question mark, that's what we'll always do. When you, if you were to type in this custom number format, and we'll see how to do it in just a second, question mark, question mark, slash, question mark, question mark, it means show two decimals in the top and bottom. And for numbers like that, that's what we want to do. And in essence, it will not reduce the fraction for you. All right, so let's go down, and I want to show you two things here. We're going to learn how to do custom number format, but we're also going to learn how to type fractions in. Now, I'm going to before I do that, I want to just show you the big trouble that people have. I want to put 1 half in a cell. Maybe I'll make this a little, just for a moment. I want to type 1 half into cell. And here's what happens. People come over here and go 1 divided by 2. Well, as soon as you do that, this tells Excel not to put a fraction in, but to put a date in. It thinks you want uh, January 2nd of this year. So when I hit Enter, it puts January 2nd. So that, we're, we're never going to be able to enter fractions like that. Now, if you ever were to enter in 88 slash 55, it's because there's no 50, 88th month or day. And so it would put that in as, as text. But for a lot of the fractions we do, if you type in 1, 2, look what it puts in there. So we can't do that. Here's how you do it. You use a formula. Equals 1 divided by 2. And so throughout this chapter, we're going to have all these crazy fractions, right? 
13 fourteenths. And you just say equals 13 fourteenths. Now, this kind of violates our rule if a number can change, um, put it into a cell and refer to it. But forget it. This is the only way we can really reliably get fractions into a cell. So if this is going to be your number you're going to use for your later calculations, type it in like this. I already formatted that. If I control 1, you could see. Uh, we haven't gotten there yet. Fraction, right? So I'll leave it like that. Now, if you really do want to show it, and some people do, they want to show a label, right? You have to type a lead apostrophe. Because remember, if we type 1 divided by 2, forget it. Excel's going to think it's a date. But the trick is, and this is the trick for all numbers or formulas that you don't want to either calculate as a formula or uh, be a number. As soon as you put a, a lead apostrophe, and the apostrophe is to the left of enter, it's no longer a number. Or if you did it with a formula, it would no longer be a formula. So, okay, 1 divided by 2, forget it, it's going to show up as a date. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a formula. But if you ever wanted just a label, you could do that. Now, let's go up and look how to do this. Well, we know we can't type 1 divided by 2, so I'm going to go equals 1 divided by 2, enter equals and 9 sixteenths. So equals 9 divided by 16. Again, if I typed in, uh, but anyway, that's how we're going to do it. Now, let's talk about formatting these. And we're going to do all custom number format for all of these, so we'll get lots of practice. Control 1. And in Format Cells, you come down to Custom. Now, when the cell has nothing on it, it says General here, because General is the default setting for cells. I'm going to highlight here. And from now on, if we want to show a single digit slash a single digit, you do question mark slash question mark. And just watch your preview. It will give you a preview as you enter it. All right, I'm going to click OK. Now this one, I want one in the numerator and two in the denominator. So I'm going to select that cell and go to Format Cells. Again, you could go up to that Number tab right there, or Control-1. Come down to Custom, highlight the General, and watch it emerge as we type. So question mark divided by question mark, question mark. And beautiful, it displays exactly what we want. So that's going to be our trick for all of our fraction number formatting. Click OK. All right, now here, let's do our formulas. Equals 14 divided by 13. And it's always going to show you decimals to start off. And equals, actually here, you don't, we don't need. We can just type a 2, because 2 divided by 1 is 2, right? Now let's do custom number formatting, because I want to see that fraction. So in the cell, Control-1, Custom. Oh, and there's 2 and 2. So I'm going to highlight up here where it says Type. Highlight that general. Question mark, question mark, slash, question mark, question mark. And beautiful, just like that. That's pretty handy. Click OK. All right, so this is the number 2, right? But we're going to totally display it like you don't usually see it, right? These are improper fractions, meaning the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So I'm going to highlight that cell. Control-1. I want the Format Cells dialog box. Custom. Highlight General. And question mark, uh, divide by question mark. And look at that. That is so cool. You can go freak out your, your boss at work and go add this custom fraction number format to their spreadsheet. And they come in, they're like, oh, what happened to all my regular numbers? All right, now mixed numbers. The question mark is what we've been using. But you can type a single um, pound sign like this, and it will display the integer, the whole number here. And then we'll do our whatever uh, fraction number formatting we want. So let's try this. There's two things we're going to see in this column right here. We're going to see how to enter a number like this, and especially this. We, we can do this one in our head. 1 and 1 half is 1.5, right? But what about this? Do you know you even know what to type in? Especially since this decimal goes on. So here's our trick. We're always, if we're mixed numbers or fractions, we're going to make a little uh, formula. So 1, and remember, 1 and 1 half. So it's adding an extra half, so you go like this. So it's going to be whatever whole number you have plus the fraction. 
and then here equals 1. And this is where it's really important, because I don't know what the decimal is for 1 divided by 3. 1, divi I'm 1 divided by 13. So 1 divided by 13. That's how you're going to enter mixed numbers into the cell. All right, so now we can try, for the first time, the pound and some question marks. All right, so ready here? Control-1, we're going to Format Cells, Custom, General, and type a pound sign. That's Shift-3. Oh, um, it looks like 2. Oh, well, let's type a space, because it's, it's number formatting is uh, making it look like it's rounded. But then I want a question mark slash question mark. And just like that, I get my mixed number. So that pound sign says show the uh, whole number here. And the question mark slash question mark shows the fraction there. I'm going to click OK. All right, now let's do this one. We have a single and then a double for our question mark. So Control-1, Custom, General, Pound, Space, a uh, single question mark, slash question mark, question mark. 1 and 1 13th. All right, now let's do 1 half and 3 divided by 2. These are like fractions. They like each other a lot. Equals 1 divided by 2. Now that one, you know, you could have put in 0.5 just like we did a 2 over here. But for harder fractions, it's better to do it that way. Equals 3 divided by 2. What's 3 divided by 2 in your head? Yeah, that's right, 1.5. All right, now let's uh, format these. Actually, we can format both of these at the same time. Ready? Control-1, custom, general, question mark, slash, question mark. That's just um, giving you a preview for only the top one. It can't, it can't give you a preview for both of them. Click OK. And then finally here, I'm going to go equals 1 divided by 2, enter, equals 1 divided by 4, enter. Actually, let's do these difference. If you know what the decimal equivalent, you can type 0.5, enter, 0.25. Uh, in a couple of videos, we'll show you how to convert back and forth. from. Well, the way you do it is you do the division. 1 divided by 2 is 0.5. And if you divide 1 by 4, you get 0.25. Now, let's highlight both of these. Control-1, custom, general, and then question mark slash question mark. So you can see the 1 half when I click OK. It will show both of them. Just remember, when putting a number into cell like 916, type a formula, 9 divided by 16. And when typing a, when typing a, for, uh, no, a mixed number like 1 and 1 13th, type it like that. All right, uh, that's a little bit about the different types of fractions. We saw how to enter uh, our formulas, especially for numbers like that especially numbers like that. And we saw how to do fraction number formatting. And in our next video, we'll talk about reducing fractions. All right, see you next video.